Thanks for joining us for our math lesson. Can everyone say hello? Hello. <laughs> Great, we'll do our meditation first. I think everyone knows what to do. We're going to think about heart center. We're going to use two fingers to find our heart center. Left hand on our lap. Left hand on our lap. And we close our eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> And breathe slowly. Close your eyes. Relax. Move your right hand into your lap when you feel your heartbeat. Still think about your heart center. Close your eyes. Relax. Let's end our meditation with three deep breaths together. One, two, three. Slowly start to wiggle your finger. Slowly wiggle your toe. Move your legs a little bit. Slowly open your eyes. Stand up. Good job. Hey, everybody, stand up. <laughs> and let's stretch our arms out to our side and swing our arms. Swing. Swing your arms. <laughs> Let's make our arms into a T. And let's ta ta touch our toes. <laughs> yep, we're gonna come up halfway and swing your monkey arms. <laughs> Be careful of your neighbor, don't hit your neighbor with your monkey arms. <laughs> 
Good, come up nice and tall. Let's touch our toes again. And let's swing our monkey arms again. <laughs> <laughs> Good, stand up nice and tall. Stick out one leg. Stick out one leg. See if you can jump on that leg. <laughs> Ooh. See if you can jump two times on that leg. See if you can jump five times on that leg. Did you do it? If you did it, say, I did it. Good job, let's go on our other leg. See if you can jump one time. See if you can jump three times. See if you can jump five times. Did you do it? Oh, okay. If you did it, say, I did it. I did it. Good job. Okay, let's practice our Left and our right. Left and right. Yeah, make a, an L with your left hand. Left and right. Good. Step one step to the right. Step one step to the left. Step one step to the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. To the right. To the right, <laughs> to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right. <laughs> Good job, let's spin around three times. Here we go, one, two, three. Woo. <laughs> Everybody take a seat, take a seat. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to check our subtraction problems with addition. We're going to be doing some fact families. First, we're gonna take a look at our PowerPoint to think about opposites. Okay, let's take a look at our PowerPoint to think about some opposites. First opposite, clean. 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 Yeah. Dirty. And dirty. <laughs> A dirty pig. He looks pretty happy though. <laughs> yeah. So we have opposites. 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 Op. Op. Po. Po. Sits. Sit. Opposites. 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 Good job. So one opposite we have clean. Dirty. And dirty. Dirty. Clean. Clean. Dirty. Dirty. They are opposites. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Another one we have. Um, we have. Yeah. Yeah. A.M. And P.M. That's right. A.M. Is that in the morning time or at night time? Morning. Morning. It's morning because we see our sun coming up. You are. Uh, yeah, teacher. Shall we? <laughs> Okay, this is the morning. <laughs> so we have a.m. and p.m. This is when the sun is going down. It's almost nighttime. So our opposites are a.m. and p.m. a.m. p.m. Good, those are opposites. Opposites. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a.m. right now. Uh huh. We have black and white. Black. 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 White. 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 Good job. Our opposites are black. Black. White. Black. White. White. Black, white. Good. Black, black, white. White, white, white. Mm-hmm. Our next opposites are what? Red. Close. They do use colors like that. Yeah, we have red and blue, but we have hot and cold. Cold. Hot. 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 Cold. Cold. <laughs> She's cold. 
Yeah. You're hot. Yeah. Raise your hand if you're cold right now. Raise your hand if you're hot right now. Oh, we're about half and half. Good. Hot. Hot. Cold. Cold. Good. So our opposites are hot. Hot. Cold. Cold. Hot. Hot. Cold. Cold. Good job. Another thing we are going to look at. What does this symbol mean? Plus. 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 What does this say? Add. 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 Good. And we also put, have. Put together. That's right. Put, put together. Put together. Put together. Put together. Put together. Put together. Good. We have add. Add. Plus. Plus. Put together. Put together. Good job. What do you think the opposite of add is? Minus. That's right. Minus. 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 Subtract. 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 Take away. Take away. Take away. Good job. We have minus. Minus. Subtract. Minus. Minus. Subtract. 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 And what? Take away. Take, take, take away. away. Take away. That's right. So we have plus, plus add, add, put together, put together. and the opposite, opposite is, is subtract, subtract minus, minus, and what? Take away. Take away. Yeah, good job. Okay, we're going to look at a few problems on the board. Let's do a few quick warm-up subtraction problems. Some quick, easy subtraction problems. Is what? Good job. Five minus two equals three. Four minus one equals three. How many threes do we have? Three threes. Good job. Three threes. <laughs> Good. Let's do a little addition. Six plus two. Good. Seven plus three. Equals ten. Six plus one. Seven. Good job. You're getting so fast. That's great. Let's do seven minus two. Let's do six plus two. Good, you're getting so fast. Five minus four. Good. One more round. Good. Good job. Equals two. Great job. Okay. What about this? Equals two. Good. What about this? equals what? Two. Six minus two equals what? Four. What do you notice about these problems? What do you notice Together. about these numbers? Do we see? Six, six, and two, eighteen, and four, three. Yeah, we have a six here, and where else? Six, and... Here? No. Here? Four. Is this the six? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have two sixes. How many? Four and yeah, we have a four here, 
And right here. Yeah, huh? And a two and a two. Good. What if we have this problem? Four plus two equals what? Good. Mm -hmm. Two plus four equals six. Good job. So we can see that we have a couple numbers that are, are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all kind of work together. Let's take a look at another one. Let's look at another one. Five minus two. Good job. What about five minus three? It sure does. What about two plus three? All right, what about three plus two? All right, I think you're catching on. <laughs> so we have a lot of numbers like this. We call these a fact family. Fact family. Fact family. Does everybody know what a family is? Mm -hmm, they're all related. Do you know what a family is? Yes. Yeah, we know what a family is, right? A family is all related to us. They're related to us. So these are all kind of like a family. Family. Yeah. Family. A family. They go together. They're all together. And they help each other, just like a family. They help each other. So we want to think about all the ways we can make these different numbers, OK? This is our fact family, OK? Fact family. We're going to take a look at our PowerPoint for a couple more examples really quick. So we're going to look at a few more examples of our fact families on our PowerPoint. Okay, let's look at our first one. We have a blank right here. We have a blank right here. Seven minus blank equals four. What is it? That's right, seven minus three equals four. Good. We have another blank. Three plus blank equals seven. Four. Okay, what do we notice about these numbers? Yeah, it's the start of a family because we have a seven, a three, and a four. Do we see any other different numbers like a five or a two or an eight in there? No. Nope. What about this? Seven minus four equals three. And we know that we can either count on our fingers really fast, or we can remember that it's a family. They all work together. They all help each other. They're all very good friends. What about this? Blank plus three equals seven. Four. That's right, it is four. How did you know that? Did you count on your fingers? No. Did you look at the fact family? Yeah. Good job. Very fast. Eight minus blank equals three. Five. Five. What's our blank? Five. Let's see. It is. Five. Eight minus five equals three. Good job. Three plus blank equals eight. What do you think five. it is? Five. That's right, it is a five because we can count on our fingers really fast. One, two, three, four, five. I have eight fingers. Or we can know it's a fact family. They're all going to work together. Eight minus three is what? Five. Five. Good job. Blank plus three equals eight. Five. Are you sure? Five. Yeah, we're sure. <laughs> Good. Five, five. Yeah, that's right. We see five, 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 five. We see eight, 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 eight. 
And we see three, 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 three. Do we see any other different numbers in our fact family? Same. Yeah, they're all the same numbers. That's right. They are all the same numbers. They're a family. Nine minus blank equals two. What goes in there? Seven. Are we sure? Yeah. Okay, good. We are sure. It is a seven. What's this one? Two plus blank equals nine. Seven. Seven. Did you count on your fingers? No. You already know it's a fact family, don't you? <laughs> Good. It is a seven. Nine minus two. Seven. It sure does. Blank plus two equals nine. Seven. Seven. Did you count on your fingers? No. No. We know that goes together from our fact family. Yeah. Good. We're gonna move over to the board for a little bit more practice. Okay, let's check out a few more problems. A few more problems to learn about our fact families. Four plus what is going to give us five? Nine. Nine. One. Not, one. not nine. One. one. Good. <laughs> five minus what is going to give us four? Wow. Mm hmm it sure is. One, one. <laughs> okay, what, a, what else can I make a fact family out of? Five. Five here? One plus four. I can do that, I can do one plus, what? Plus four equals five. Equals five. What other fact family can I add in here? Something with a minus. Something with a minus. We already have a plus here and a plus here. So we need a minus. One minus four? If I have one, if I have one, can I take away four? No. Can I take away three? Can I take away three out of one? Three. Can I take three out of this one? No. no, I can't do that. No. So not one minus four. Four minus five four equal one. That's right. We can do a five, five minus minus four. Minus four? Okay. Equals what? Five. One, let's check. Check on, oh, check on your fingers. <laughs> check on your fingers. Five, take away four. One, two, three, four. Sure does, okay. Good job. We can't always make different ones. We have to make sure that there are actual numbers. So let's look again at another example for a little bit more practice. Five minus two equals what? Sure does. Five minus two equals three. What's another problem I can use for our fact family? Two minus five? Can we take away two? No, we can't do that one. What's another one? Two plus five equals seven. seven. Does that go in our fact family? No. 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 Two plus three equals let's, three. Let's try it. Two, two plus three, three equals five. two plus one, two, three. It equals five. Good job. Okay, we have one plus and one minus. One plus. We need another plus and another minus in our fact family. What do you think is another problem we can use in our fact family? Five. We only want to use five, twos, and threes. Five minus three. So no sixes and no ones, just a two, a three, and a five. What if we do five plus three? Five plus Five, yeah, minus three, because five plus three is gonna give us eight. So five minus three is what? Four. Five 
minus one, two, three. How many? Equals two. Equals two. All right, that one's in our family. Yeah. Okay, we need one more plus. Three plus six. Three plus six? Two. No, we don't need a six. That's not in our family. Three plus two equals what? Let's see. Three, one, two. Sure does. Okay. Good job. Let's do another one. One with this number. Six minus five. One. Equals one, you're right. Good. So now we're only going to use a six, a five, and a one. What are some five other? Five minus one. Five minus one? Five minus five. What's five minus one? Four. Does this four no. fit in our family? No. No, four is not in our family. Five plus one? Yes. I like that idea. Five plus one equals six. equals six. Okay. Good job. This one's in our family. This Three one's in our family. One five. That's a great idea. Six minus one five. equals five. That works in our family. Good. Okay. Is that true? Yeah. It sure is. All right. That's in our family, too. Good job. One, Think we're getting the idea. Five. Equals five. It sure does. What's another fact family we can use? Equals eight. Is that true? Is 10 in our family? No, no. 10 no. not in our family. We only want to use an 8, three, a 3, eight, and a 5. Eight minus 5 equals 3. 8 minus 5, that does equal 3. OK, that's in our family. Three plus five equals eight. Yeah, we can do 3 plus 5 equals 8. Does that work out? Yeah. Mm -hmm, sure does. Okay, good job. This time, I'm going to give you three numbers. I'm going to give you three numbers. Three numbers. And you're going to tell me all of our fact families that we can make, okay? So let's do the numbers two, five, and seven. So we have one, two, three, four. And remember, we need two pluses and two minuses, okay? So what is one of these four fact families that we can make? Five. Start with the five. Five plus two, seven? Yeah. Sure is, that's a good one. Is that true? Yeah. Sure is. What's another one? Two, two and five equals ten. Is that true? Yeah. Sure is. Two, five, seven, minus five equals ten. Yeah, good job, guys. Is that true? Yeah. That's in our family. Good job. I think we're getting a really good hang of this. We're going to do... <laughs> okay, let's do it with these numbers. If you have a 3, a 9, and a 6, what four equations can we put in our family? Is that true? Yeah. Okay. What's another one we can do? Is that true? Yeah. Okay, it's in our family. What's missing?
getting out of this? No nine. No nine. Is this true? Nine. Six nine. minus three, is that true? Nine minus three. Oh. Nine minus three. Uh-huh, yeah, we need to have a three, a nine, and a six. We're missing a nine, nine here. Minus, minus, nine minus three four, four, six. Is that true? Yeah. Sure is. What's our last one that we can make? Three, six, six, nine, nine, three, five, six, nine. Okay, three plus six equals nine. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Good job. Finish. <laughs> Finish with that one. Okay, let's do it with five, one, and four. And we're gonna have Black Gal come up and write one for us. <laughs> write in a fact family for us. That's right. Actually, let's have Pot come up too because you're gonna be next. So you can write one here. And Pot, come on up. You're gonna write our next one. So you can get ready. So remember we need two pluses, two minuses. Okay? We need to use a five, a one, and a four in every equation. Okay, she's starting with five minus one equals four. Equals four. Is that true? Yeah. Five minus one equals four. All right, that one's true. Thank you. You can give that to Nadia. Can you think of another equation for our fact family? One. Four minus one? No. Okay, which one? You can use minus or a plus. You wanna use a plus? Okay. So what number plus, what number equals another number? I'm gonna start with? One. Equals what? Four plus one equals what? Five. Yeah, so you can write that. It's okay, keep going, keep going, don't erase. You're doing just fine. Yeah, that's a good one. Here's our four. Okay, keep going. Plus. One equals what? Okay, let's check. We have four plus one equals how many? Five. Five, that's right. Okay. You can do it. There we go. Thank you very much. That's good. That's good. Good job. You can give that marker to Dow. She's going to go next. Four plus one is five. That's true. Nadia, let's see what she's going to come up with. Five minus four. One, two, three, four equals one. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Sure is. Thank you very much. Okay, we have one last fact family that we can do here. We've got four plus one equals five. That's true, but hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We already have that right here. <laughs> How can you change this so that it's a new equation? We got five plus one equals six. Is six in our family? No. no. <laughs> six no. isn't in our family. Try again. 
It's going to be very similar to this one. It's going to be very close to that one. It's going to be very close to that one. You've got one plus one, two, three, four. Is that five? Is that true? Yes. Sure is. Good job. Okay. Let's do one more practice with our friends. And then we're going to move on to a worksheet. We're going to use the numbers six, three, and three. Come on up. <laughs> what do we notice about this fact family? How many threes do we have? Two. Two threes. Okay, go ahead and write in one of the equations for us, please. You're going to use six, three, and three. We've got three plus three equals Six, is that true? Yeah. Sure is. Can you give us another equation for our fact family? Yeah. Six minus three equals three. Is that true? Yeah. Sure is. Come on up, friends. Okay. We've got everyone used. Okay. Okay. Can you give us another one? This one's a little bit tricky. Because we've got our same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. So we've got a six plus. Plus three? Yeah. Six plus three? What does six plus three equal? What does six plus three equal? No. Nine. That's not in our family. That's not in our family. We need to use our six and then a three and a three. Three and a three. Let's use a minus. Let's use a minus right here. Minus. And now we need to use three, three. Three and three. So what is six minus three? What's six Seven minus hell. three? Yeah. Equals what? Yeah. Do we have a six here? Yep. We have a three and a three. He's going to make a nice three. Yeah. Good job. Is six minus three, three? Yay. Yeah, it sure is. What's our last member of our fact family? Three. Three. <laughs> three. Yep. You can start with a three. That's cool. <laughs> okay, we have minus and a minus. So what do we need? Plus. Yeah, we need one more plus. How can you make this equation to still use one more three and a six? Three plus three. Mm-hmm, three plus three. She's checking it out on her fingers. I know, it's okay. Three. Yeah. What does that equal? Six. It sure does. Okay. What do we notice about this fact family? Is this the same as this? Yeah. Is this the same as this? Yeah. Mm hmm Well, we have two of the same numbers. We're going to have two equations that are the same. So it's a little bit tricky. You guys did a great job. This number. What number is this? Four. What number is this? Four. How many fours do we have? Two. Two fours. What number is this? Eight. Eight. Okay. So I need two pluses, two minuses. What's one that I can do? What's eight? I like that. Eight minus four equals four. Is that true? No. 
Sure is. What's another one we can do? Four plus four equals eight. Is that true? Yeah. Sure is. What's another one we can do? Eight minus four equals four. Yes. Eight minus four equals four. Is that true? Yeah. Is this the same? Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we have two of the same numbers here. Four plus four equals eight. Is that true? Yeah. Is this the same? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure is, because we have two of the same numbers here. Good job. We're going to take a look at a little worksheet. So we've got a worksheet where students can do three groups of fact families, and we've got some flashcards that I cut out. So there's three fact family numbers. So they're going to put each set into each one of these fact families. So take about 10 or 15 minutes to do the worksheet on your own. You can walk around and make sure students are doing it correctly or if they need any help. Great job. You got it. You got it. You're on the right track. Give me a high five. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is going to be for that one. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So your first one is going to be right here. So look at these numbers first and make a fact family with those numbers. This is going to go there. Yeah, you got the idea. But remember, raise your hand quietly. Wait, wait, we only want to use these three numbers up here. It's a family. Yeah, you're doing it right. What? High five. Oh, yes. Yes, my friend, you can have a high five. Boom, good job. Wait, you only want to use these three numbers. <laughs> Change it up. You're going in the right direction. Give me a high five. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let's think. High five. Boom, good job. There you go. I know, they're all blue <laughs> from the board. Hot finish, high five. Boom. High five? Oh, yes. Very good. Yeah, seven plus four. Let's look at our next one. So we're going to use two, three, and five here. All in that one. Put your two there. So three, nine, and twelve. Me, twelve foot. Twelve first. That's good. Twelve foot and minus nine equal two. Twelve minus nine is that two? No. What is it? Double check what twelve minus nine is. What's twelve minus nine? Twelve. <laughs> you can use the ruler. That's a great idea. So go ahead and look again at these two. If I have seven, can I take away nine? <laughs> okay, let's see. Finished? Great job. High five. Finished? Finished? Okay, take a look at this one again. Very nice. Good, do the same here. Because if we have two, we can't take away nine. Nine minus two is seven. We want to put our nine right here. Put our nine right here and see if you can think about what we could take away from nine. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for our math lesson. Can everyone say goodbye? goodbye.